the Red Rocket. Andy Dalton led the Dallas Cowboys at home against Kyler Murray in the Arizona Cardinals. Early in the game, he didn't know what was going to happen. Punt, punt. This isn't what we thought. Is this just going to be an ugly evening? Then Zeke gets a fumble. Then Kyler Murray misses some passes, and they don't really take advantage of it. What's going on here? Then the Dallas Cowboys did exactly what the Dallas Cowboys have done and just give up a bunch of points. They're on pace to set another record on the defensive side of the ball to give up the most points in an NFL season. In this particular the time Kyler Murray was nowhere near his best no nowhere near he was missing passes that he doesn't normally miss he was missing reads I guess that some people say he doesn't normally miss but on the ground he just ran all over I mean it was next level he was untouchable by that Dallas Cowboys defense they pop one late to somebody or to DeAndre Hopkins Larry Fitzgerald got a couple catches but everything about that Dallas Cowboys team from the defensive side of the ball looks like they're a sieve like they're just going to yep. give up points even if they make some big plays and they're rallying the ball and it looks like energy is high for whatever reason the Dallas Cowboys defense just can't stop shit that's just what they can't do and we as gamblers will note that going forward mm -hmm. for everybody they play until they prove differently by the way we thought there was a chance that this was a team that they could maybe rally behind because Kyler Murray's been kind of hot and cold this particular season maybe this is when the Dallas Cowboys step up but no they didn't I thought that the Cardinals were going to win by two uh, scores yesterday I hammered it and it was coming to fruition very very early and on the flip side, Andy Dalton and that Dallas Cowboys offense got a lot to figure out. Everybody was like, they're going to have to feed Zeke. They're going to have to feed Zeke because um, McCarthy maybe doesn't have the passer. Not maybe, definitely doesn't have the passer that he had in Dak and Andy Dalton. They fed Zeke, and for whatever reason, Zeke was wearing his sweatshirt underneath, yeah. and he gives up two fumbles. Okay, The first one he caught, it was kind of like in the middle of the field. It wasn't exactly like a running back fumble. But the second one, it was just a clear fumble. He squeezed, ball came out. And a lot of people would say maybe it was the sleeves, maybe it was the thing. But also, Zeke could potentially be in his own head right now they say fumbles come in bunches and they also say once a fumbler always a fumbler so will Zeke be able to get rid of this in this season that is obviously going to be very daunting for the Dallas Cowboys without Dak Prescott or is he going to continue to be a fumbler be on the sidelines and Andy Dalton and Tony Pollard are going to have to take over this offense and then that defense it looks like they're not going to be able to stop shit is this just going to be a nightmare year for the Dallas Cowboys but potentially a $500 million a year for Dak Prescott. I think last night everybody on earth was thinking it. I didn't want to say it because Andy Dalton, this is the first game as a starter there. But if it looks like that for, what, the next four or five games, Jerry Jones might try – to cut that franchise tag off in the middle of the season because he's on IR and negotiate a 45-year deal. Because <laughs> mm -hmm. that Dallas Cowboys offense was breaking all types of passing mm -hmm. records. They were breaking every like lot of records. They weren't winning games, okay? But they were breaking offensive efficiency records all over the place. Last night, they couldn't do a damn thing. Not a damn thing. They scored a touchdown at the end, and everybody's pissed. Like, yeah, just get me out of here. Let's end this game as much as we possibly can. They showed Steven and Jerry Jones up in the thing. They got problems, but if I had a guess, I would say that Dak Prescott, T's and P's, by the way, for your rehab and recovery after that gruesome injury, I would assume he was laid up somewhere. Okay, probably had his leg up like yonder here or something like that. Oh, yeah. He was watching that game. And he was probably, you know, pulling for the Cowboys, biggest fan, right? Mm -hmm. Has a lot of friends on that team. You're obviously going to pull for your friends. And then whenever the, it started to struggle, there was somebody in the proximity of Dak Prescott that said, these sorry motherfuckers owe you $600 million, <laughs> yep. maybe $700 million. And I would assume Dak being the gentleman he is, hey, don't say that probably. You know, like, hey, don't say that. But that whole conversation started leaking into the Internet and then into everybody's minds because what that offense looked like last night versus what it has looked like with Dak, even though they haven't been winning games for whatever reason, was just night and day. And maybe Andy don't be able to turn it around. Maybe they won't. But it sure looks like that Cowboys team is dead. It really does feel oh, like yeah.